Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Stray. Um, last video we were just about to leave the slums uh, and we reunited Doc and his son Seamus and we got the little Zerk weapon. I forget what it's called, but it gives us some defense against the Zerks. So that is very exciting. Uh, also, I left off saying that I was going to um, look up the location for the safe code. Um, I actually didn't end up needing to do that. So it took me a while, but um, I decided to go back into all of the buildings that I could go into because uh, I figured the code wasn't just going to be randomly willy-nilly on the wall like I was hoping it would be. Um, so when I was done recording, I went into the buildings that I could go into um, and just to look around those again. The code ended up being if you don't want to know, skip ahead. This is your warning. The code ended up being um, behind a picture frame in the bar. So I did find that. It took me a little bit, but not honestly as long as I thought it was going to. Um, I only ended up going into the uh, the laundromat, which there was like nothing I could interact with in there, and then um, the bar. And then when I was exploring the bar, I saw the picture frame and I was like, oh, duh and it happened to be behind one of the picture frames. So that worked out, and in there I got, I don't even remember what I got. A memory, maybe? I think it was a memory. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, and then I was trying to find the vending machine, which I was not having very much luck with. That I was struggling with that one big time. And I was wandering around the rooftops and we actually have Baby Light to thank for finding the vending machine because I was holding her in my lap, um, trying to play a game while holding an almost 10 month old who likes to grab everything is not easy. So she uh, yanked the controller out of my hand and somehow managed to, I don't know, next thing I know I saw the vending machine. So that was thanks to Baby Light. Um, so that was kind of cool. The vending machine that I was missing was not on the roof or the streets. It was on a balcony in this tiny little alleyway that I never would have found. So it kind of worked out perfectly that she did that. I don't know. Some some video game god was like, oh, all right, I'm going to help you out. I feel bad for you. Take pity. Um, so I got the last can and I bought the last thing from the vendor guy. And um, oh, that was the memory. In the safe was a piece of sheet music. So I got some more sheet music and then I got a memory from the guy with the cans. So I did that off camera. You didn't really miss anything, um, but that's what I found. So now I'm ready to continue on. I know I didn't get all this, the sheet music, but I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm happy with my accomplishments of what I was able to find on my own. So let's continue on with the story. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future videos. And I would like to thank my patrons and my channel channel members. One of these days, I'll remember to have it up on my phone before I start talking. Um, for making this video possible, Dan, Riley, Toth, Meat Wizard, James, Niall, Fantasy Hawkeye, Matt, Simone, Nathan, Roderick, Reagan, J Logic, Barry D, Patrick, Ronnie, Chance, Charlie, Jersey eighty seven. Robert, Tom, Miggy, Rape, Jago, Kelby, Shane, Robert, Heath, Artist Jack, Larry, Achille, Kazer CEO, and Peyton. Um, and all right, you guys, here we go. All right, so I'm still... Let's just make sure that... Okay. How many... Oh, I think I'm missing one. That's unfortunate. That's very sad. So close, and yet so far. Benzu, Momo's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted to here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Yeah, I'm missing one piece of paper. Should I? Shit. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look up that last piece. I don't feel right not doing it when I did everything else. Um, music, sheet, locations, stray. Okay, let's see. Sheet music one. Momo's flat. I got that one. Sheet music two. On the rooftops, looking at the guardian. I think I got that one. Sheet music three. 
On the ground floor of the slums, LA's repair shop. Definitely got that. Sheet music four. For sale at the shop. Got that. Sheet music five. Located in the bar. Go upstairs to find sheet music five. I think I got that one. Sheet music six. Go to Clementine's flat. Walk through the doors and look right toward the bed instead of going to Clementine's office where you'll find a notebook. That's possible that I missed that one. Sheet music seven. In the library. Look around the room for the cubby that contains the black piano. Jump on the piano. I got that one. Sheet music eight. Okay, so it's gotta be the one in Clementine's flat. All right, so I'm just gonna go get that real quick. I'm gonna go get that real quick. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't care, but I, I don't feel right. I don't feel right missing just one thing in this area when I tried so hard for everything else. Um, what's the best way to get up on the roofs here? The roofs. <gasps> yep. Um, okay, then the next question is, which one was Clementine's apartment? I think it was this one. Let's hope I guessed it right. <gasps> no, I got that one. Oh, no. Dang it. Is there a way I can see if I got all of them? What if I already got them all? Definitely got the one on the piano. I know I got the one in the safe. Okay, so I'll get a music badge if I did it all, and I definitely did not get the music badge. Maybe it's the one on the slums. Looking at the guardian and the giant out of order elevator, climb the buildings to your right. Okay. This is the right side of the slums. Climb over toward the flat with the outsider sign. But don't go inside. Keep climbing away from the guardian until you reach a balcony with concrete corners. It's on a wooden table. That's probably the one I'm missing, but that description is trash! Oh, maybe it's right here. I feel like I got that one already. No, don't go down. Kitty! Kitty. right by it though well that could have been so much worse than it was can I take this down <laughs> I love that okay and then I get all turned around where am I going? Excuse me. <laughs> You'd think I'd know this place like the back of my hand at this point. But alas, I do not. Oh my god, I'm running in circles. Okay. This way, up here. Yes, alright. Hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Oh, thank you. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Sweet. Meowlity! Let's 
see. What is this last piece? Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. satisfied now. This will definitely be a game that I go back and I try to get the trophies on. I don't do that much anymore now that I um, do this for a living. Because I just don't really have time for that. But I could see this game being a, a nice little trophy hunt. <laughs> I can't believe we found Doc and got the deflexer. Oh, that's what it's called. With this, now we can go find Balthazar. Let's go. Dramatic pause.
too many places Zerks can be. I've never been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. <laughs> you should be! Momo. That's dumb. You should be terrified. Can Zerk swim? the door, it won't hold for long. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop. What? When you find Balthazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Momo! Wait, 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 wait.
Well, my birth. Oh, fuck it. We're running. Fuck it. Oh, I gotta open that one. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Get me out of here. What? Oh no. Oh no. Stop looking at me. I'm gonna cock you.
Okay. Who's dark? I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. Nope. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Nope. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. Of course it is. But if are completely destroyed now, we'll have to be careful. Well, thank you for saving me. I'm sorry that it was hard on your core. Look how cute! I never noticed it in there. We made it. Whoa. Baladin, a traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Balthazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He is meditating at the top of our village. No Zerks allowed! Can't sit with us! Ant Village. Wait, I wanted to look at it. It looked pretty. The scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload... Something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until... A little cat appeared. Was it? It was. Me! I was a scientist! I was human! I... I need a moment. Wait! area. One happy, one sad. What are you playing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Da da domino? This tree. Oh. I gotta jump on this tree. <laughs> oh, I can't do it yet. Okay, remind me to come back for that. I don't know what I need it for, but maybe it's like the music sheets. Do that memory yet? He tells like I don't want any more memories. I'm good for now. Super speed scratchies. So many people. Mm -hmm. 
What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Are we good now? Can I go back and do all the stuff that I missed? Maybe it wants me to continue the story first. Yeah, okay. Well, I have to try. Transcend Transcendental Meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. Manage to read the outside. Reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Since we've had a visitor. Well, except those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power. Having them run in a wheel or something. Such waste of potential. When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Ant Village. Z electric zerk everywhere. Oh, he's seeping. He's seeping. We can't wake him up. This language. The companion robots made it up from scratch. Oh, impressive. <laughs> I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I am curious to hear all they have to say.
Don't know what we're gonna need this for, but... Those flowers look pretty. There's probably a robot that would love them. This is a picture of Clementine and Balthazar. He told us to find her. She's not her too. There's also a series of symbols written on the back of the pictures. Okay. So I wonder if the flower is going to be like the music sheets. Boom muck. Boom much? M M much. I do love the smell of fresh paint. That reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh! Sores! May is in her deconstructive period, so she says... She'll, be she'll become a great artist. If she could only practice elsewhere. What happens if I knock this paint over? Will you be happy again? Oh, you are happy again already. May, did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't, any don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it garbage brown. Marie. 9,536 games, 1 to 6. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to win at this game. No. Hmm. Statistically, I should have won at least eight times. Well. If you only knew. Nothing over here. There's nothing up here, really? That seems surprising to me. Kukime. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. Nico, people call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling and covers. Today's special Ramen J45 with my secret ingredient. What's your secret ingredient? I'm supposed to keep going up. How does one do that, though? Oh, this way. Oh. I think I found our flower lover. Malo. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. 
If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Well, oh, I've got purple. purple. Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Could you find the other for me? Please, please? Sure. I'll try. Pfft, I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. All right, sorry if there's uh, an awkward little jump there. I got a pop-up on my computer that I was running out of storage space, so I needed to uh, stop recording and clear some space up so that I didn't um, run out of room and lose this video. Because that would stink. Okay, well, that looks like a yellow flower. How do I get that, though? Um, no, just, just jump down, get kitty, kitty. Okay, well that one is easy. So now let's look. We need a red flower. Um, let's do something so we can kind of look around because it seems like they're all growing on trees. So, we want a tree. Oh! Could that be it? How do I get there? call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Um, is that a WoW reference? What is that a reference? This is another video game has that. I think it's WoW. Is that goblins that say that? I don't know. Okay, I think that was easy. That was way easier than the music sheets. Probably just because this area is smaller. But also, the flowers are much easier to see than the music sheets were. Oh my god, they're picking up all their little tiles. <laughs> I'm sorry! Okay, now to turn in these flowers. turned around over here this is it this is not it shit go for that oh this pipe right here okay I knew there was yellow pipe like I said if only someone can find could snatch a yellow plant a red plant and a purple plant well look at here that color. Thanks, buddy. Could you find the other one for me? I already did, my darling. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. Thank you. You found them all. Thank you so much. Here's a reward. Take my badge. Plant badge. We're like a Girl Scout. It looks so good with it. Well, take care now. See ya, friend. Is there a trophy to get all these badges? Risk of falling. Like where we lived with our kitty friends. Yeah. 
I like when they make it very linear so you know exactly where you need to go. <laughs> any more zerks. Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them. But they're gone now! <laughs> So long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Plot twist, they're all the robots. Anyway, we're in Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. I'm gonna stop there. I know this video is shorter than typical, but I don't wanna start a new section and then have to stop um, when we've just gotten to the new section. So since we're about to be at Midtown, we only have one main memory left. Makes me think we're getting semi-close to the end of the game. Um, I feel like this is probably the best breaking point. So um, the story is getting much deeper than I was anticipating it being. Um, I guess it's not super surprising that B12 was actually a human, um, but it makes me wonder if all of the robots actually were and they just don't remember. Maybe they all put their consciences into the robots and that's when the robots created the form of writing because they didn't B12 say kind of like happened after a long time. So maybe we can find B12's family somewhere. Is that being too hopeful? <laughs> Is that me wanting this to have a Disney ending? Um, and it's probably gonna have like a telltale ending? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm honestly surprised by how deep this story is actually getting, to be completely honest with you. The flowers were obviously much easier to find. Uh, the fact that they were all growing on trees and they are bright, vibrant colors. Uh, so hopefully the collectibles in the next area are easier as well, but probably not. They're probably going to be a bigger area and it's probably going to be more like the music sheets where there's a lot more to explore and a little bit more difficult to find, but I'm having fun with the collectibles. I think it's cool how it adds to like the personality of that section of the game. It gives you a little bit into what life is like for the people of that area. Um, and it's, it's really cool how each of these robots has a personality and a story and each of these sections has its own little story and lore that you're learning. And I think that's really well done. So I'm having a ton of fun with this. I hope you are too. Hopefully we don't see any more Zerks since we no longer have our gun, but we definitely will. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.